That's money. Oh my god. Gosh, I love that destroyer so much. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's primo. Come on. Oh yeah, you got me by like a foot. <laughs> That's the furthest you can go without going up. What is up guys? Beautiful day in the Pacific Northwest today. We haven't had rain for like two days, which is absolutely wild. Me and my buddy Quinn were out here. Practice round. This is the course where you've probably seen me do the Beat the Leader series. I haven't been able to get out here with my actual bag yet, other than a few days ago in 30 mile an hour winds and a downpouring rain. So that doesn't count, but <laughs> practicing today, throwing some shots. This is kind of the course in the area where you get to open up a little bit more. And uh, on a beautiful day like today, we just want to chuck an honest wind. Not too bad, but it's, it'll keep you honest. Mm -hmm. So let's get right into it. There's three keys of disc golf. Driving, approaching, and putting. You need all three to do this disc sport. I'm gonna get out here for Beat the Leader soon and I'm nervous for it because I know if I shit the bed with my real bag, people are gonna be talking shit. Stabilizer up into the left side tree. Perfect. I've done that every time I've like played this hole in like my casual rounds is I missed that first one. We, me and Isaac both did that the other day. We like park it and then we just miss 10 footers. Luckiest day of my life though, not going OB right there. Stable. Yeah. It's fine, but yeah, not great. Yeah, on a day like today though, that that turnover is probably mm -hmm. a smarter play. Try this proxy. Mmm. <sighs> kind of yanked it. Bro's a buttery lefty also. Jeez. Money. We're going P2Xs today, guys. Feeling pretty nice. See what we can do. Oh, oh a little too stable. Quinn's parked. He's got that perfect two for two start. That's how you do it. Oh, bro. Get up, come on. Oh, that like almost bombed it. I feel like it kind of got dropped by the wind. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. P2Xs, baby. They feel nice. I like them. Yeah, wow, that pushes so straight. Go in the hole. Short, but like money. <laughs> That's wild, yeah, dude. Always a little short. Soft pro toro. The, the, the worst thing is you're hold two holes into a tournament, smack a tree with a base plastic <laughs> disc, and then for the rest of the round, you're like, well, how does this even yeah. fly? Because I know Sexton was throwing one of those in like the USDGC practice round, and it was like, he was like chopping it, and it would just hook right out. The soft toro? Yeah. Wow. Yep. Crazy. Little Nate Doss three time. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Yeah. That's so Come good. on. Dude, that might go in the hole. Broadbird ace. Come on. Oh. <laughs> it's perfect, though. Yeah. Bro, why is your lefty like so money? I started. Last September is when... So just over a year. Just over a year, yeah. Which and is wild. In December, that's when I really picked it up. And you're like almost 970 rated? Yeah, 960 something. 960 something. The guy's cracked already. <laughs> All he throws, which I love, because he's like a new player. That's old school. He throws AVRs, rocks, destroyers, firebirds, firebirds and T-birds, yeah. right? Yep, T -birds. And that is it. Just recently, I got him, I, I feel like it was my doing. 
I got him to get a Thunderbird. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm like, bro, you gotta get a Thundee. Yeah. But he throws like the classic in of a bag. Just orders a bunch off of the factory store. Yeah, the and second, then, the factory second. Yeah. Yeah, watch the Philo. Gotta hold the mic. Oh yeah. <laughs> watch the uh, Philo in the bag. Yeah, and, dude, that's uh, literally Philo's in the bag. Philo's like, entire bag, yeah. His whole career. He just doesn't throw Toros, but they yeah. weren't around when he was throwing Oh yeah, so. and the Toro. Yeah. And now he's learning the backhand lefty. Yeah. And it's good. Yep. These kids these days. How old are you? 22. 22. He's a kid. Oh! <laughs> I never make player two if I make player one. Probably because I just lose focus on the second one. I kind of just fling it and then like see. Then I just miss it. Yeah, bro. Every time I throw this hole, I never get it actually inside of the bushes. Yeah. I always leave myself like a 25, 30 footer. Yep. It's, it's well guarded, for sure. All right, ultra. Swing, baby. Come on. There we go. Right, there you go. Gosh, finally. Not bad. Eh, a little short behind the bush. Oh, come on. Come on. Beauty. I'm gonna buzz this ass straight at it. Stay stable. Not Fish bad. Shot. Dude, my player two is trash. Ultra, December 6th. The uh, metal flakes come out. Just got the picture of him today. I'll throw that up. You changed the game with, uh, with that. The first shot up top. Shot. With dude. that first shot. That dude. You put up. And, and then I. Like, I'm trying the broad line now. Is that what it's people have been saying? Because yeah. <laughs> it's, it's been an impossible hole forever. See, I, see but the th funny thing is, I stepped up. I'm like, I was like, well, I assume the basket's to the left. I'm yeah. like, that's the shot. You just flex it up top. Yeah. If it's windy, bro, yeah. game over. Yeah. But in calm conditions like this, it's a doable shot. Like that. That's the same disc I did it with the first time. Thunderbird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That might be a little left, but I think I'll have a putt. Yeah. Now just beat all the trees. Bro, oh, I think we'll both be putting. Yeah. Big time hole, if you're a local, you know. Oh. Yeah, see, the rock, I feel like, is a good option, but you... Kind of keep it a little lower, which yeah. brings these into play. Whereas the Thunder or like Firebird, yeah. you kind of can beat all the trees and then just crash down and like see what happens. Uh -huh. So it's tricky. All right, this is for Gannon once again. No! <laughs> Come on. Oh, a little short. Yeah, that's money. Oh, nice putt, dude. Oh, it's a weird putt, so uphill. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is. <laughs> Big skip. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna try a sidewinder to really get that like push up. Oh. Oh! Oh man. See so guys, this hole's really hard. My money drive went up there. It's still circle two. Such a beautiful line. So many bonus holes. Come on. Uh, good layup. I guess. Ah, oh, guys, my elbow, not not 100% by any means, but on the putts, it's feeling a little better. So I've been able to kind of revert a little bit more back to my spin putt I was using before the flare up and it feels better already. Just a little more commitment on the putts, so. Ching it.
I never throw that tactic backhand, so I'm trying to like learn it more. Oh, you're parked? Of course. <laughs> This kind of keeps you thinking because these right here are 100% where you're trying to throw the disc. Yeah, I think it wants you to do a flex shot now. Yeah. Three pass, three time. Here we go. Oof. Love that. If it keeps turning, stay on the edge. Oh, yeah. I think that'll be safe. A little short. It's a beefy one. Is that a halo rock or just a star swirly one? And it's light too, it's crazy. Oh, that is Firebird. Ooh. If that comes out, oh yeah. This might be the actual closest I've been to the basket. I've had a decent look from over there, but I always right outside circle, I feel like. And this hole is an absolute death drop behind it. Oh, didn't commit to the ante. Dang it. If you guys are watching this and you've never seen my Beat the Leader series, that's where I actually will take you kind of through every hole and really talk and explain them. So I'll link those. They're really good cinemas, go check them out. But this hole and a bunch of the other ones, this course might have some of the best, oh dude, that's a big ass snake. <laughs> this course might have some of the best bonus birdies. Like they're par threes, reasonable distance, but the lines on them, are so honest that like if you don't just peer them you're not really getting like a you're definitely not getting a circle one putt i guess so such a good challenging like local level course and that's why it's one of my favorites oh i see it oh. I'll grab it. come on yeah dude guy putts dx avrs 40 footer uphill. Wasn't even like a hard putt I feel like and you just float it. This hole I always say is like, if you have it adequate forehand, maybe not even just adequate, maybe slightly like above average cause it is like 360. But if you don't put it in circle, you suck. <laughs> I like to put the pressure on myself every time. Sky stone. I think, I think, I think I left it short. Ah, that'll probably be fine. Oh, AVR or rock? That's a rock, that's too much. Yeah, sidewinder forehand. Ah, oh, too flippy. Yeah. Kind of a beauty though. Yeah, kind of a bomb. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that backhand turn over too. I, I don't think I've done that yet. If that stays stable, a yeah. little too flippy. Oh, man. Dude, the view on this hole, the mountains, yeah. the snow. Yeah. That's pretty good. Big putt. Oh, guys, I thought I saw it off my PD2. It's actually parked, so we're gonna take this destroyer, see if we can ching one. Oh, that felt so good and it never got high. And then I just hang it. Yo, oh, oh, dude, that was one of the prettier forehands I've thrown dude, recently. Right I was like, Rod, stop being a bitch. <laughs> like, just throw the thing. Yeah. Let your arms swing. Be an athlete. <laughs> what is that? That's a tree bird. Bro. Now drop. That's, that drops. that's probably a good tree. Because you're like parked yeah, now. Drops. God, dude, the view here is nuts. It's something else. I'm glad it's so clear today. I thought that was gonna be flippy. Damn. Okay, I gotta try forehand. Oh, bro's got a rocket. Dude. Boy. No skip though, you could. <laughs> that was money. That was 
Hi there. Is that an eagle? That's a thunderbird. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I went deep. I knew it might be too much disc, but I wanted to try. I'm gonna try an eagle though. That's my eagle bird. Oh yeah. It's basically a firebird, but yeah, that's seven speed. Easy. Park job with this destroyer. Bottom or not a bottom stamp, but Star DS. My boy James gave me with this sweet little like factory store or something. I wonder whose stamp this is. Anyway, it's a beauty. Thunderbird smacker. Stay up. There it is. Oh yeah. There it is. Oh, too swingy. Full 13, 337. This is another one where it's like simple shot, but like the green's tricky, OB deep, can't blast it, but like. Oh no, yanked it. Heiser. We're in the open. Gosh, beat up ultra is just so nice. What a shot. Oh, dude. Like this old champ leopard has been pretty money lately. All right, three time goat dos buzz dried up. I'll be honest guys, I find myself a lot of times in casual rounds I don't play out my bad shots because I throw three or four and then I just pick up the shitty ones and go putt like the, you know, usually like the 25 to 30 footer. But then I get to the point where I'm like, man, I haven't thrown like a chip up shot in like a month. And then uh, I need to start doing that more because you get a little rusty. Yeah, dude, good putt. Man, just there we go, a little golf clap for him. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Nice. Ultra, guys. December 6th. Metal Flakes. What? Cut through? Yeah, dead center. Count it. <laughs> Count it. Insane. You probably saw my P2X video, and then Gannon saw it, and he messaged me on Instagram and kind of like cleared up a few things. He said the reason the P2X is bigger than the PA3 is because according to PDGA specs, the P3 or the PA3 is technically not legal at the, the, the height and diameter it's molded at. It's actually too small. He also said this is the third iteration of the P2X. They did two before this and they weren't good. So they kept trying and I'm glad they did because this thing has so far been really money. Uh, we'll, we'll continue to see. Discmania sent me out another box where they're sending me some more of these to continue practicing. So I'm looking forward to trying these out more. No, I tried too hard. I kind of feel like when I'm really trying to get into it, I feel myself like really crouch into my throw. Whereas if I actually kept it taller, I think it would be yep. better. Cause I'd probably brace a little more. Oh. Short, but that's a C2 putt. Early, burned it over. Not great. This is like the best day ever, just playing disc golf, where you don't have to worry about like rain and all that. It's actually pretty dry. It just feels so nice out here. Temperature's good. Can't complain. Let's see if we can lace this tactic. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's gotta get down. Hit the pole. Oh. Oh my God. I think it looked like it maybe almost went in and then I think I'm 30 deep. It went just behind the basket. This is the, this is like the worst spot though, because you're like, okay, I'm too close to not run it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But also like with my putt, if I just fade it down the hill, I'm yeah. toast. Yep. Marvel, spinner, <sighs> really flat. Or big hyzer. <laughs> really flat, yank. 
I didn't think about it with the lefty putt too. Yeah, yeah. kind of. Let me try a. Uh, let me try this. Yup. Oh. What? <laughs> bar down, Ben Lenz. Not enough. Brutal. Oh. Save the par. Now, can I par for my my uh, tactic? Come on! Oh. A few times I played this hole, I would just pin it. Yeah. And I feel like last couple times, not so much. <laughs> well, let's do it this time though. Yep. Looks good. Yep. Pin. 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 Just gotta say you're gonna do it and then yep. you'll just do it. Come on. Even closer, bro. Come on. Doing that with a, I threw eagle, he threw rock. <laughs> it's been funny because playing with you and Isaac. You both play a lot, like, kind of how I do sometimes, but I used to do more of it, where if you can get a mid there, mm -hmm. you're throwing your mid range. Yeah. Which I feel like I've almost dialed that back a little and tried to trust my fairways, like, down tempo more. Yeah. But it's so much more fun, like. <laughs> I, I do, I do kind of think it, it might be, like, a little bit more optimal to throw the fairway. Yeah, because it's so easy. Like, it's like a 60% throw and, yeah. like, but I'm going to try my buzz. I just feel so much more confident with the rock. Yeah. I didn't trust myself to hang that left of the basket. Mm -hmm. Like I threw the exact shot I wanted. I just kind of babied out because I knew if you fade left, it's, oh, it's your scary. disc is gone. It's is that a star AVR? It's a Halo AVR. Halo AVR. Bro, do it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Not bad, a little short. I don't do, I do like the new, neutral hyzer a lot. Yeah. I don't very often, I feel like, do the massive hyzer. Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like you're doing too much, you know? Right. Yeah. We got four discs just pinned on this thing. My PD2, that you probably didn't see because the camera died, pinned. <laughs> yep. That's a solid little spread right there. My big boy drivers and then your freaking Halo AVR and rock. This guy. I'm getting old. This is maybe the most beautiful hole. Like this, even though the hole itself is literally just like yeah. turnover, straight hyzer or like chip shot hyzer. Yeah. Like it might be like my number one like hole 16 ever. Like just the views on it are pretty insane. I forgot how to just not be a bitch and throw forehands like an athlete, and now they're good again, guys. Yeah, My forehand has been horrible for the last couple weeks. It's because I just was not throwing them good. Yeah. The big rock shot. Gosh. Since I got these, I haven't had a good forehand, so it's, yeah. <laughs> it's like been not as fun. It's game on now. Yeah, it's game on. Oh, freaking rocket. Jesus, dude. He's an athlete. I never quite know what I want to do on this. It is, because you can't quite see the base. The, the, like it just covers, so you're like, well, in my park, my 30 deep, like, I'm just gonna go Firebird. I think that's good. Go in the hole. Am I short? Nah, perfect. The rock shot up high, kind of stalled. Get back. Yeah. Oh yeah. Man, dude, this is such a nice like day. Yeah. I'm glad we got out here. We've, we haven't got this good of golf in a couple weeks now. Like, this is like one of them nights where you're just throwing and it's just peaceful. Oh, yeah. Not even cold. First time I played this, I just went Firebird, Firebird. And it's like, I, I threw 
same shot, two times in a row, right. you park it. Recently, because a lot of times there's a left to right, so I don't love the forehand, because I kind of have a nose up forehand, so it'll push back over, yeah. whereas I'd rather fight it with the right. backhand, but. And the, uh, the head oh my gosh. Nah. I can tell, so since we looked for that disc for like 15 minutes, that first putt again, Ooh, I feel it spicy. pull. <laughs> and it's like, okay, you haven't putted in 20 minutes now. Slides it. Wind it's weird, like I really gotta keep the tendon like warm. Yeah. Hole 17, 415. This is the hole that like, I want to park it so bad yeah. because it's just like. Are you throwing forehand? For yeah, yeah, like I'm yeah. trying to just yeah. get it there. Oh my gosh! It's still so far. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I tried too hard. Gosh. Oh. See, I always think this hole from the tee looks really far. Yeah. And then once you get to that short tee drop zone, you're like, oh, yeah. you're like, you look back and you're like, this isn't even that far. I've gone OB long with a rock. Yeah, so it's weird. Like, I don't know, I feel like I have to smack the, the forehand, but I almost think if I just like let it fly, yeah. it'll do enough to get there. Yeah. Stay nose up. Yeah. <laughs> See, and You're then exactly right. that's like, a circle's edge putt. Dude, what in the hell? Oh, oh what is that? Is that a rock? It's a rock. Bro. I think that's why you want to keep it lower. Is cause... That was nutty. Yeah. I'm going to try this leopard. Yeah. That's kind of what my first T bird was. Yeah. Honestly, it this out. hole is still one of them ones. Like, it's 415. It's more downhill than you think, though, I feel like. Uh -huh. And so like, if you can just get it flying like within a hundred short, it'll continue to get yeah. you into the tree line. Totally. But easier said than done, but it's so doable, but it's such a demanding shot. Right. Yep. yep. Now stay stable. Ah, oh. dude, those low hangers. Okay, so, I'm gonna try the Thundy yep. on a little bit of Annie. Cause then it'll push forward more. Yeah. Oh, bro, if that gets lucky. Oh yeah. <laughs> that wasn't luck. Man, that's that just luck. skill. <laughs> Do you forehand much, really? Like I. Never forehand. Cause like, dude, you have a fucking rocket. Yeah. I I uh. Like you need I, to just. I mostly forehand. I forehand more than I backhand inside like 200. Okay. But you gotta learn to just trust that thing, bro. It's so funny. Like I had this guy DM me one time, and he like sent me a video of him throwing forehand. He's like, yeah. "Bro, you like got any tips?" And I was like, "Bro, you're better than me. Like your yeah. forehand's flawless." I was like, "What do you mean?" Yeah. <laughs> well, I, uh... yeah, I don't know. You just gotta trust it. And I I feel like if you just trust the backhand more, it's like you can't argue with that. Right. But buzz. Oh, so you, you got to beat that last way, yeah. bit of branches. All right, basket. One of the best twos on the course. Oh, gosh. That too. <laughs> Gonzo. <laughs> this is probably like my 10th shot, but we figured it out. We felt the birdie. Oh, yeah. Even though it was like my 10th shot, feeling the birdie on this hole, that's what we need. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good we'll take that. Even if it's not the first shot, just finally getting the two on this hole to like figure out how to do it. That backhand thundy feels so consistent. And uh, this hole, if you watch Beat the Leader, episode two, you'll know that I would have done it actually if I would have made like a 35 footer. And I kind of chained out. So this hole's kind of like 
my nemesis hole out here because it's such a good hole and I just, it's such a satisfying birdie. Yeah guys, see that is, uh, if you miss where you're at, not good. And it's so much further down there than it looks. Old or new? Putter to the rescue. Gotta get the guy a dry one all day. Oh, no. <laughs> Cut. Wet one. Oh. How far is this? Do you know? 400 exactly. 400. Little destroyer. It's been gunned so many times. Heiza. I kind of yanked that. I might get back though. Yeah, I think it will. <laughs> yep. I, you know, like right here, how the tee pad is oh, like, yeah. it right where I want to plant, this is, it's like up there. So it kind of like, like the local route, but you might yeah, you kind of plant to the middle there. This is a hole where I just feel like if I don't pin it with a backhand, it's just like a, a bad miss. Right. Like it's too straightforward. There it is. A little short. Uh, yeah. Is that a rock too? I suppose, I mean, if it's flying that slow, it's probably a rock. Bro, if you get there with an AVR. Yeah, but that flight was nice. Thunderbird, straight at it. I would do anything for them to just get a better tee right here. Just a real tee box. Dude, that thunder is so straight. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so good. I miss that disc, man. Beautiful night here. Shout out to Quinn for getting out. This is probably the most enjoyable round I've had in a while. It's just the weather today. Flawless, but we're gonna tap these out and then we're actually gonna get another quick round in because we got like an hour of daylight and it's too good to not keep throwing. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one. Creator of Frisbee Club. The man, Motherfuckers. The man, the myth. And right here, I have a Frisbee bag. It holds all my Frisbees. The ones I like.